You're the one, yes. Not like the scabs that exited the shuttle with you. You radiate power, Lord. I bow before you. I serve Lord Barris. He sent me to meet his new apprentice, and I made sure I was here on time. I certainly did, yes indeed. So, I'm Matt. Now what? I'm just a slave who owes his every breath to the tolerance of Lord Barris. He said to introduce you to Drome and Cass, and I take that seriously. You have a strong survival instinct. Thank you, kind Lord. I am seldom referred to as strong. Lord Barris ordered me to encourage you to explore Cass City before reporting to him. Imperials maintain the order, but they won't bother you. When you're ready, Lord Barris will meet you in his personal chambers. You, uh, you will tell Lord Barris I was good, yes? That I served well? You did exactly what you were told. You have my thanks, gentle juggernaut. I bow my head until you depart. Wow, you showed remarkable restraint with him. And exactly why would that be hard to believe? Uh, no reason. For Pause. Not a minute too soon. Your timing is impeccable. Did it just get considerably colder? I see you decided to keep the slave. I hope she amuses you. I trust you've been acquainting yourself with your new environs. Did my minion point you in the right direction? He's a dutiful servant who lives to serve you. Properly beaten down slave is the only trustworthy creature in the galaxy. Your responsibilities will mandate contact with my various minions, meet my directives, and you may do as you will to anyone you encounter, adversary or ally. You can trust that I'll use good judgment, Master. I have painstakingly built a vast network of spies and operatives embedded throughout the Sith, Republic and Jedi alike. I have fingers, eyes and ears everywhere. Tell me, why don't you trust your own allies? A Sith has many rivals who seek to destroy him. We are an opportunistic culture. We rise by dismantling those around and especially above us. You're my enforcer, deployed to protect my interests, intimidate my rivals, and destroy my enemies. It's time for your tenure to begin. A military starship is touching down at the Cass City cargo port, delivering a vitally important prisoner to me. You will meet Commander Lanklin at Docking Bay 12 and make sure he and his men successfully offload this prisoner. I would be more than proud to help. We must always assume that we are being plotted against, especially when the stakes are high. The importance of this prisoner cannot be overstated. Go to the cargo port now and stay sharp. You are dismissed. All right, man, let's hurry up and get this hunk of carbonite to its owner. Captain Olivius. Boo. Oh, I, I didn't see you enter. Lord Barris didn't need to send a welcoming party. Obviously, Lord Barris feels otherwise. My men and I have performed much more dangerous duties for Lord Barris. The prisoner is frozen in carbonite, so it's not a flight risk. And this is friendly territory. Surely we're safe here. There is no such thing as friendly territory. No offense, my lord. That brand of paranoia may work for Lord Barris, but I don't subscribe to it. When you're on assignment for us, you do. Yes, my lord. Whatever you say. Let's get this oversized block of ice to your master. Not so fast. My master ordered that block of ice. So step away from the carbonite man and no one ends up in a grave. Your name, now. My name is of little importance. I'm here to relieve you of your burden. 
Whether that includes your own lives as well is up to you. Looky, looky. If it ain't Slestak, your master be wanting the froze man too, huh? Too bad for you. It mine. I think introductions are in order. Fine. I am Slestak, and this ignoramus is Tumar. My master and the slime Tumar takes orders from don't exactly like each other. My slime crush your master with Pinky. I'm such a fool. I'll never doubt Lord Barris again. What do we do? These gents look reasonable. We'll reason with them. Tuma and his mates can't even spell reasonable. All me gotta be able to spell is kill. K-Y-Y-Y-L. He convinced me. I think Tuma can kill you, Slestak. Very amusing. I do relish the opportunity to rid the world of Tumar and his drones. So I'll be with you presently, Instigator. Come on, boys. We smash the talk from Slestak's big mouth now! While they fight, my men and I will deliver the prisoner to Lord Barris. Thank you for buying us time, my lord. Franklin informed me of the ambush at the cargo port. Apparently there are more eyes on us than even I thought. I have felt a disturbance in the Force. It leaves doom imprinted on my dreams. A grave and mysterious threat that could bring down my entire power base. This frozen man is a top Republic agent captured while investigating my most deeply embedded spy on Nar Shaddaa. One of my invisibles. The Force grants me a vision of doom. And immediately, my untraceable spy, who has left no footprints, no trail, is almost exposed. It makes me furious. Maybe your spy wasn't so invisible after all. Do not presume to tell me my business. There's no profit in it. I must learn what tipped off the Republic agent. He is the key to uncovering the nature of this threat. Now, while I thaw the prisoner and painfully siphon every morsel of information I can from him, I have some concerns that require your special talents. Tell me what I must do. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Go to the Imperial Post in the jungles outside the city. Commander Pritch is stationed there. He has a seek and destroy task for you. It'll be done before you know it. I must tend to the torturing of this miserable Republic agent. Waste no time. I have more for you to do once this is complete. You are dismissed. Commander Pritch at your service, my lord. Lord Barris informed me you'd be paying us a visit. I'm prepared to offer full assistance. Aren't you a good little soldier? Lord Barris has always found me, Sir Lord. Permit me to update you on the situation here. There's been much unrest in these parts recently, my lord, capped off by a violent slave revolt that has the surrounding jungles overrun with armed slaves. Then they're not slaves anymore, are they? I stand corrected, my lord. Former slaves. What no one knows is that Lord Barris orchestrated the insurgents to disrupt one of his rivals, and he wants his involvement kept secret. Now the slave captains who led the revolt are threatening to expose Barris' involvement unless they receive more potent weapons. 
slaves. They're never satisfied. I'd just be happy if you took the stupid shock collar off. I'll take it under advisement. I see you know how to handle slaves, my lord. I think they know better than to blackmail a Sith Lord. Lord Barris wants you to kill enough of the blackmailing slave captains to make the others lose their resolve. Violence is not always the answer. Well, I suppose. Many of these slave captains are former criminals with ties to the underworld. In fact, some have been selling their fellow slaves to the black market. If their followers found out, they'd be furious. If I had proof that they're selling their own people back into slavery, I could blackmail the slave captains to stop blackmailing Lord Barris. What kind of proof? I bet they keep records of their transactions. If you rifle the slave captain's footlockers and find proof, I'll do what I can to use it against them. Just tell me where to look. The slave captains have their home base around the unfinished Colossus. I'll await any proof you salvage from the slave... My lord, you're back. Did you find sufficient proof that the slave captains are selling their people back into slavery? The slave captains kept logbooks. Most impressive, my lord. I can see why Lord Barris has such faith in you. Now I can threaten to expose the truth. If the slave captains don't want to be torn limb from limb, they'll stop blackmailing Lord Barris. I must stay, my lord. It's been inspiring watching you work. You've been very helpful, Commander. Thank you, Lord. I'm pleased to hear that. I'll inform Lord Barris that the situation has been handled. I, I don't care what you do. Break my bones, burn my flesh. I'll tell you nothing. I will not be denied. Go spit, you monster! I didn't know bodies could bend like that. I think I'm gonna be sick. Spare yourself. You shouldn't have to see this. Ah, Apprentice, you've returned. Commander Pritch confirmed that the slaves have been silenced. Good. I'm still trying to extract the information I crave from this Republic agent. He is much more resilient than anticipated. I'm interested in helping. All I require is time. Just leave me to my work. I have another important task for you. It involves a renegade Sith Lord named Grathen, a particularly bothersome thorn in my side. Meet with my apprentice, Dracul Ball. He's my covert operative in Grathen's compound. Ball claims to have made a key discovery. Invading a Sith compound is my kind of work. Grathen's presence is useful to me, so I don't want him killed, just crippled. Find out what Ball has discovered, and do exactly as he instructs. Is your other apprentice above me in the pecking order? I'm sure he views himself as your better. But he has merely been here longer. Now then, Republic wretch, where were we? Oh, yes. <laughs> You must be the operative Lord Barris sent. I thought he'd choose a stealthy assassin, not some senseless savage. Just tell me the situation here. Fine. I'll rise above my discontent. For now, now listen. Lord Graven is a rogue Sith who boldly defies the Dark Council. Locked away here, he's been untouchable. Lord Barris wants to let Grathen know he can be reached. And after a year undercover, I've discovered the way. Lord Grathen has a son. I'm fascinated to hear where this is going. I was assigned to find Grathen's weakness. He's kept his son a secret in order to protect him from his enemies. Grathen would be devastated if his only child and heir was dead. That would send a message. I'm no baby killer. We're not talking about a baby here. Grathen's kid is nearly 20 and strong with the Force. He's been trained in the ways of the Sith since birth. You'll have your hands full. The tougher, the better. 
Grathen's away on business. I managed to hack a special spike that will get you inside his private quarters. But first you're going to have to knock out Grathen's surveillance station so you aren't seen entering the quarters. Tell me what that entails. All you have to do is locate the monitoring stations around the compound and, well, <laughs> stick your lightsaber in them. Think you can handle that, brute? Is that all I need to know? That's all then. Destroy the monitoring stations, then get inside Grathen's private quarters. The son's name is Beelslit. Find him and end him. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Try not to screw up. I kinda like his... Mother, a stranger approaches. You don't know the half of it, kid. I am Sylvanta Gratham. How dare you enter my son's room uninvited. Who are you? Step aside, woman. I'm here for the boy. You'll have to kill me first. And while my son is still an acolyte, I am fully Sith. Then we have something in common, Selvanta. Then may the Force give me the strength to defeat you. Beelslit, take cover. No, Mother! I stand at your side! Stop! You are more than a match for us! Mother, if I am the target, save yourself! I don't want to see you die! My son, you must not sacrifice yourself for anyone, not even me. You must endure at all costs. Assassin, you've carved your way into the inner sanctum of Lord Grathen's compound, all to kill a boy. You are a breath away from the Master himself. Spare us, and I'll help you destroy Lord Grathen instead. You want me to kill your husband? Hmm. Aren't you the dutiful wife? I married Lord Grathen for power. It was a means to an end. Now I want out. I'm strong, but can't touch my husband. How long I've waited for someone to end his oppressive rule. Grathen must live. And so he shall. Just hear me out. A wicked plan is taking shape. Long ago, my husband was nearly beheaded. Now, he cannot exist without his helmeted mask. Everyone knows this. Kill Lord Grathen. My son will wear the mask and assume his mantle. He'll publicly rant that his son was murdered. No one will be the wiser. Fine. I'll kill the father instead. Excellent. You won't regret it. Lord Grathen deserves to die. With this pass card, you may enter Lord Grathen's secret chamber. You'll find him there. After you've ended Lord Grathen's miserable existence, bring his masked helmet to me. Sit still. This won't take long. Be wary of Lord Grathen. There are few as attuned to the dark side as he. Um, I don't think I like... My uninvited guest finally arrives. Your feelings betray you, youngster. I sensed your murderous intentions the moment you entered my sanctum. What's more, your unshielded mind has revealed your accomplice, my loving wife. She sends her love. Sylvanta is a user, child. She's obsessed with power. It's one of the things that attracted me to her. But it's outgrown its amusement. I am death itself, child. Come embrace the dark. Yes. I sensed my husband's death. Lord Grathen is no more. What pleasure to think he suffered. He got what he deserved. Mother, what does this mean? Am I truly to become the master of this house? You will wear his mask and assume his identity. But you are not yet ready to rule, my dear. The voice will be yours, but the words will be mine. I have longed for my father's death and the chance to claim his power. Yes. This is a great day. You have served us well, my new friend. Perhaps you could show your appreciation in a more personal manner. Aren't you the rogue? You freed me from an inconvenient husband and put me in control of this house. Let me show you my appreciation. In private. Whoa! Wait a minute. You're not seriously considering this. You have really terrible taste in women. Don't be such a child. Age has nothing to do with good taste. But 
Do what you have to. Now that we've cleared that up, all this talk is making me impatient. Veilslet, find something to do, will you? Your mother needs some privacy. Yes, mother. And are you going to dismiss your Twi'lek? She never leaves my side. You've got to be kidding me. Well, well, well. Whatever you say. It's your party. Of all the things I've endured to gain power, this was one of the least unpleasant. You are always welcome in my chamber, friend. Keep the door unlocked. Where would the fun be in that? Now leave me. I have much to do now that I control how- I'm surprised you survived. So is it done? Is Gratham's son dead? You're a condescending windbag, Baal. It's pretty easy to push your buttons, brute. Doesn't say much for Grath and security forces if a clumsy clod like you was able to bang into his private chamber and off his son. Why don't you back up that mouth with action? That's exactly what I had in mind. Killing the murderer of Grath and son will solidify my cover here. Barris can replace you easily. You're making a big mistake. Though I'm more than capable of facing you alone, a smart man uses every advantage. And I am a smart man. The intruder! The intruder is here! Everyone to me! I cannot break him! Is there some problem here? Who would ask such a stupid question? Clearly, there's a problem here! Okay. I'm officially scared. This is impossible. An unknown power must be shielding this man, which only confirms my suspicions. This Republic agent is the key to unlocking the threat we face. I must harness my rage and frustration. They will lead me to an answer. Trust your feelings, Master. <laughs> the minion advises the Master. Very good. You'll demonstrate your progress. And the word has spread that Lord Grathen is incensed at the slaying of his secret son. I take it that was your handiwork? After dealing with his son, I stayed to socialize with Lady Grathen. An added humiliation for him. Ah, oh, my young apprentice, you have just cheered me up. I haven't heard from Dreykel Ball, my agent in Grathen's camp. He's missed a scheduled communication. Let me guess. He gave you trouble, did he? He left me no choice, Master. I had to kill him. Uh, no matter. He fulfilled his primary purpose. Every Sith must attempt to orchestrate his own promotion. Now, back to my prisoner. There's one last possibility to break him. I thought it impossible, but perhaps there's a small chance you could pull it off. Over a millennium past, the Emperor claimed Drummond Kars and made the Dark Temple the epicenter of Dark Force energy. In the bowels of the temple, he conducted horrifying experiments that drained the knowledge and life essence from all the greatest Sith Lords of the time. He destroyed his own Lords. They existed to serve their master, and that they did. He siphoned them to make himself immortal and all-knowing. The Emperor created a device called the Ravager that ate his victims' minds and delivered to him their greatest secrets. No one could withstand the Ravager's intrusion. Even the strongest Sith Lords of the Empire confessed whatever the Emperor craved. Let me guess, you want me to get the Ravager? It may be my only chance to break this Republic worm. The Emperor keeps the Ravager hidden in the Dark Temple, which has, in his absence, become a death trap. There's a good chance the horrors that await you will be too severe, but it's worth your life to me.
The legends describe a secret chamber in the depths of the dark temple where the Ravager was encased. You'll know the device by its inscription. Be swift, apprentice. It was foolish of you to return here. Uh-oh. Looks like we got another fight on our hands. Those pieces you took from my minions belong to me. They will enable me to exact my revenge on Lord Farshall. I am Lord Vacuous, the conqueror of Begeddon, the killer of Garatak the Singed. Return what you have stolen or burn. Stand in my way and you are defying Lord Barris. I've never heard of a Lord Barris. If you're name dropping, you're doing a pitiful job of it. This is tiresome. You had your chance, now... When I sent you into the Dark Temple for the Ravager, I thought it might be the last time I saw you, Apprentice. The prisoner grows weaker by the minute. There's no time to spare. Stand back and bear witness. You're wasting... your time. I... will not... Yes, the Ravager has seized his mind. Excellent. In his condition, we don't have long before the ordeal liquefies all brain matter. Maybe he'll last longer if you reduce the pain. The pain drives the device's effectiveness. Republic Worm, you have the information I desire. Tell me everything. I am... Republic... Information Service, on special assignment to verify possible Imperial spy on Nar Shaddaa, commissioned by Jedi Council, acting on suspicions provided by Master Nomen Kar. Nomen Kar, that's a name I grow tired of hearing. What's the problem? Who is Noman Kar? Noman Kar is a Jedi Master who infiltrated the Sith. I rooted him out. Then he nearly destroyed me and fled. He's dedicated himself to proving that the Sith have spies embedded within Republic and Jedi ranks. I've thwarted him at every turn, but he is tenacious. How did Noman Kar come to suspect my spy on Nar Shaddaa? Tell me, Republic wretch. What alerted him? Master Nomen Kar has the new Padawan. She seems to know any being's true nature. She senses hidden darkness and untapped purity. Astonishing. I've never heard of the Force granting such a gift. Tell me, how does her power work? All I... All I know is, when Master Noman Kar brought her to Nar Shaddaa, this Padawan sensed darkness in your spy, simply by seeing him. What's a Padawan? That is what the Jedi call their trainees. It means she is not yet a Jedi. If this young Padawan can see through deception and disguise with such little effort, she threatens everything I have worked for. Continue, Republic dog. Kar believes his Padawan's ability is foolproof. But the Jedi Council is skeptical. I was to provide the proof, but I wasn't able to report my findings. Damage is not yet done. For now, perhaps. But we can't have this potential doomsday weapon scouring the galaxy. Who 
is this Padawan, you Republic pest? Tell me everything you know about her. She was found on Alderaan. Her power first emerged, training on Tatooine. And Jedi sent another agent to investigate someone she suspected on Balmora. It's fading. Is she human or one of the Jedi's cursed aliens? Where can I find her? What is her name? I have no nothing... nothing more... The Ravager has emptied his mind. That is all we have to go on. A few random places within the greater galaxy where Noman Carr and his Padawan have been. It's a start, Master. That device did the trick. You are correct. We now have leads to follow. Noman Carr is a relentless crusader, and this Padawan and her unprecedented power threaten everything I have achieved. Your duties are likely to take you to the far reaches of the galaxy. I will need to deploy you at will. You shall have a starship of your own. You've earned it. Go to my personal hangar in the spaceport and claim it. You are most generous, Master. Save your gratitude. I must ponder our next move. Waste no time. Get your starship in my hangar and wait for further instructions. Yeah, uh, let's go before he tells me to clean all this up. Take a look at that. We're going in style now. Nice ship. Are you leaving, Dromund Kars? You have something to say about that? On the contrary, I have a going away present for you. Selvanta Gratham sent me to deliver this token of her appreciation for all you've done for her. It will greatly enhance this new ship of yours. I must have made quite an impression. So it would seem. On the Lady Grathen, but not on the Lord. You see, Selventa's husband, Lord Grathen, has a different present he wants me to deliver. Apparently, he says you know too much. Lord Grathen is dead. Don't waste your last few breaths on idle threats you have no way of carrying out. I've murdered just about every form of sentient being in the galaxy, and I'm here for you.